Brenda K. Cardas was born on November 17, 1986 in Little Falls, Minnesota. Her family later moved to West Fargo, North Dakota, where Brenda graduated from high school in 2005. After high school, Brenda worked as a CNA at nursing homes, where she was remembered for taking care of her elderly patients as if they were her own grandparents. She had many interests and hobbies, including drawing, crocheting, running, biking, and writing poetry. At some point, Brenda started using drugs and became addicted to methamphetamines. After being sentenced to two years probation for possession charges, Brenda eventually sought treatment for her addiction as well as for bipolar disorder. In July of 2018, Brenda was living at Center Inc., a transitional living facility, and things were looking up. She had just found a new job that she was excited about, and she felt that she was on the right path to conquer her addiction. But for some reason, on July 12th at 1.35 p.m., Brenda checked out of the facility and was last seen walking to a park. The facility staff reported her missing to Fargo Police on July 30th. Because staff at Center Inc. did not report Brenda as missing for 18 days after she left, valuable time and evidence was lost, including video footage from the center showing Brenda leaving. Initially, searches for Brenda focused on Texas, based on a Facebook post from the day before she left the facility that said she had a new boyfriend there, but nothing came of it. Later, people reported that they saw her in Bismarck, North Dakota, and in the western United States, but these sightings were never verified. Brenda's family initially believed she might have been trafficked. Having a mental illness and suffering from drug addiction would make her an easy target for traffickers. No one has been able to determine who she was going to meet on July 12th. That morning, she had told her family that she believed she was in danger, but she would not tell them who was putting her in danger or why she thought that out of fear for their safety because she left her money, car, and all her possessions behind. It was clear that Brenda planned to return, and her loved ones believed she would, but she never did. On August 22, 2019, groundskeepers at Riverside Cemetery discovered the skeletal remains of a woman along the Red River in Fargo. On August 29th, police confirmed that the remains were those of Brenda Cardis. Although a medical examiner could not determine her cause of death, Police considered her death suspicious due to evidence they found at the site, but they have not said what that evidence is. No one knows if that area had been searched when she initially went missing in 2018, but a medical examiner determined that her body was in that location for a year before it was found. While it is possible she was killed farther up the Red River and her body ended up at the riverside near the cemetery, it is also possible she was killed there. At the beginning of the investigation, police focused on Brenda's then-boyfriend and former boss, Stephen Helm. The two had been dating for about a year when she disappeared, but Helm had ended the relationship shortly before Brenda disappeared, which is why police focused on him at first. Helm had been very cooperative with police and reportedly submitted to a polygraph, but the test results have not been made public and they were not shared with him. He has not been named as a suspect or person of interest in Brenda's disappearance or death. In October of 2019, local news outlets reported that authorities have several persons of interest they believe have information about Brenda's death, but so far, nothing has led to an arrest or more information. Her death has not been classified as a homicide and her family believes that police have not treated her case as a homicide due to Brenda's nonviolent criminal past. By all accounts, in 2018, Brenda Cardis' life was just starting to turn a corner and get better, but was then cut short. There are no answers as to who killed Brenda or why. Someday, hopefully, her loved ones will have these answers. Until then, they remember her as a sweet woman with a bubbly personality who lived her life with passion. <laughs>